Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important CMS named as Invid Tech Vision for PC. So in this video, we are going to describe you that what is Invid Tech Vision for PC, what are its features and function, what are its minimum system requirement, and then we'll tell you how you get the file, how you install the file, and how you configure the software to make the camera live. Not only the camera live, but you are able to access all the features that we are discussing later on this video. So keep watching. Please like, share our video, subscribe to our channel, and please press the bell icon so that you get all the notification of upcoming videos. So what is Invid Tech Vision for PC? The Invid Tech is a manufactured is many is manufactured and advertised by Invid Tech Technology. It is a U.S. company. The company deals in surveillance surveillance security products. The product are top class. There is there is a long range of data security surveillance things, and basically it is a CMS which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera. It means that which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on PC. This is the software program for monitoring the CCTV cameras on the computer screen. It is a it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote location over the internet. So basically. This is all about what is Invisitic Vision for PC, and let's discuss about its features and functions. It gives us a live video without any delay. The controls relay of the data gives 24 hours delay, and not able to only view the camera, but also you can access them, see the multiple channel at a time. You watch the recording of the camera, so you take a snapshot of the video, you control the PDZ camera, you share the live view of the camera, you can adjust the image parameter like brightness, etc. You take a backup of the recorded videos. You can control the quality of the video recording and many more like log. You, you are able to search the log of the device. And let's discuss about this minimum system requirement. So you should have at least Windows 7, 8, 10, or even 11. But I don't recommend using Windows 7 because you, this is this continued continued by Microsoft. You should have at least 4 GB of RAM and have 4 i5 processor or equivalent processor in a processor in other companies. You should have at least 500 MB of free space on your hard drive. Why this 500 MB? Because this software installation don't take too much uh, space on drive. But when you see the live video, you may want to record uh, the videos on your PC manually. You may want to take snapshot of the video manually. So for this, you should have at least 500 MB of free space on your PC. And uh, when you have this amount of free space, then it will it run in a smooth and proper manner. So now let's discuss that how you get the file, how you install the file and how you configure the software to make the camera live and able to access all the features that we are discussing earlier in this video. So keep watching and let's start our practical part. So let's start our practical part. So for this you should open a Chrome browser or any browser. In my case I am using Chrome just to open Google Chrome and Google for in with tech vision for pc and press enter when you do this you find the top of the list of a, a software uh, name as uh, website name as ccb desk please so open the open this link or you open this website uh, so just scroll down a little and here you have to find a page download for pc and download for mac os so just give download for pc because i am using windows so just click on this when i do this it will leave it will my file shows here, I just click on this download button and click download anyway. Now your download is start. Then let the download to be finished. Now it is finished. Just click on continue download. And just click after that because this file is on Google Drive and it's not able to scan that file. So that's why it's showing that maybe some 
like here like it says that google type can't scan this file for bias just click on this and just click on show in folder option here is a downloaded file just right click on the downloaded file and click extract when you do this you get the folder name same as the file name like this just open the folder here is our application file or its other file just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator and click yes now click next now again click next now click install and let the down let the solution to finish once it is finished you get the successful message that it's all successful now it is downloaded sorry it is installed here you see that click the finish button to exit the setup wizard and click on finish so here you find that this is the cms in, on your screen so basically this is a cms uh, this is the shortcut named as just double click on the shortcut and click yes here it ask you for a username and password so just put username and the password and just click on auto login so you don't want to enter again and again just click login because uh, my laptop have some resolution problem with this uh, software so just click right click on the uh, display setting and change the resolution of the my pc and keep change again keep change so when i do this you find that all the option is enabled so this is the interface of the software and the first thing you should find just here you find you should find the device option okay so for that you should like live view here close this button here you find that a device option is here then the first thing you should find a device management option so here just click on this when i click on this you find just double click on this on this and you find that lot of thing here so basically Uh, you find here a uh, add option okay on here you guys online device is zero add option when your pc and your device is on the same network means it is connected to same router then you should click here so here you find that your device comes okay and here you find plus add option you should click this you should click this because um I want to connect with the remote location DPR. So just click on this add up button. And here you find a many option like my DNS, IP segment, and IP domain. So basically, I should go for the IP domain. Okay. And why this? Because uh, I want to connect with my local IP. And you, you, if you want to connect with the DNS support, then you should select this. Okay. So for that you should enter the domain here and device name here and then password. Please note that this is username and password of the device. So in my case I am using an IP domain. So just click on this. So here my I put anything like and just click on IP domain and click here. I should enter my and again it has password number and just click username. and the password please note that this is the username 
the port number, username, and password is of device means device you are adding like name you are NVR or whatever you are adding. So here I just enter my password here. Okay. So just click just click on this add to group. There is no group found, just create a group like test group and click enter. Just click on this and click OK. Now it is on the group. Just click on the control panel again and just click on the live view and just double click on this single view and just double click on this camera option and your camera is live here. So thanks for watching. Please like, share our video and thank you once again.